welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.18 of chapter 2 and today we are going to solve the questions related to the mutually exclusive events so in this question the statement is which of the following pairs of events are mutually exclusive okay so first going through each and every part of this question first of all we have to see that what is mean by mutually exclusive or mutual exclusive events so if you have two events a and b okay so these would be the mutually exclusive events if there is nothing common in between them means the intersection of a and b is an empty set okay so in this way these are basically the mutually exclusive events in real world scenarios we can call the events a and b the mutually exclusive events if they cannot occur simultaneously okay so a and b cannot occur simultaneously so these would be the mutually exclusive events or in mutual exclusive event these are strongly dependent events so i hope you have got my point that if one cannot occur with the other one so it means that the other one has been occurring if one is not occurring the other one will occur so in this way these are mutually exclusive events okay and also the independent events are what in which the probability of a and b would be equal to probability of a and probability of b okay so here these events would be independent okay so if the events are not mutually exclusive these can be independent as well okay so this is what the trajectory we are going to solve today and here we have different options a golfer scoring the lowest 18 hole round in a 72 hole tournament and losing the tournament okay so in this way we have to see that whether these are the mutually exclusive or not so let me represent the mutually exclusive with m okay and not mutually exclusive with let me represent it with this color with n okay so in this way we have to see that two events 18 hole round in a 72 hole tournament and losing the tournament so in this way we can very clearly see that 72 by 18 is actually 4 okay so there are 4 18 hole rounds okay so a person can lose the tournament if he has lost three of them if a person has won only one so there are chances that one two three four if he has won the first one he may lose the other ones as well okay so these would be one two three so it is also possible he has scoring the lowest 18 whole round and losing the tournament so it is also possible so two can also occur simultaneously means these are these are basically not mutually exclusive part a is not mutually exclusive and part b a poker player getting a flush all cards in the same suit and three of a kind on the same five card hand okay so if a person is a poker player he would know that these two events cannot occur simultaneously so that's why these two events are mutually exclusive events okay Similarly, here in part C, a mother giving birth to a baby girl and a set of twin daughters on the same day. Is it possible to occur the same two events in a single day? Yes, it is also possible. So that's why these two are not mutually exclusive. Okay, Part C is not mutually exclusive because these two events can occur simultaneously or in a single day as well. A chess player losing the last game and winning the match it is also possible because a chess player 
can lose the last game and can win the match as well it is possible as well so that's why these two events can occur and here the party is also not mutually exclusive event composition okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the definition of the mutually exclusive events what are their definitions and also connect them with the dependent and independent events if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon